Hi, and welcome back to One Woman Circus. My name is Christina, and today we are going to go over everything that I have crocheted this last week, so Sunday to Sunday, and it is in preparation for my market I have coming up on Saturday. Um, it's a, another free market. If you watched my last video, you'll know that the market that I did, um, not this last weekend, but the weekend before, was a free market, and so I signed up for it. I signed up for one other one, and all this is in preparation for that. And then I also got some crochet items from Timu. I feel so weird saying that name, Timu. Timu, Timu, I think it's Timu. Um, so I'll show you what I got. Um, and yeah, so we can go ahead and start. And then there's a few things that I am doing also uh, to kind of change up the way that I do my market stuff. And we will also get to that. So let's go ahead and start with uh, what I made. So, and what I always like to stress is that I work a full-time job and I have three kids. So all of the crocheting that I do is on the side, before bed, it's just where I can fit it in. So I don't always get very much done. And so compared to other people, I know it may not seem like a lot in a week because they're like, oh, that's all she did. <laughs> but um, I do have a regular full-time job and three kids and activities galore and stuff. So until I can move some stuff around, this is what we're doing. <laughs> so my first one, is this iguana and this one is by yarny box it's a pattern by her and i love it i thought it was going to take a lot longer than it did like because it just seems so intricate but it really did not take that long and uh the spines on it so it's kind of hard to see but you see the spines up here so the spines were supposed to be a piece that you crocheted on a chain and then sewed on. But what I did was I just started from the top of the head where I wanted it to start and did the pattern that you're supposed to follow for the chain all the way down until I got to the end of the tail. And the reason I did that is because I'm always afraid that when I do stuff like that and I have to sew it on, I'm afraid it's either gonna be too long or too short and then I'm just gonna get mad <laughs> and I'm not even gonna wanna put it on. So that's the reason I did that. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it was super easy to make. Uh, this whole body is one continuous piece. The only thing you have to make separate are the legs and then the spine, like I said, but I ended up making that so it was a no-so piece anyways. But yeah, I love the way it turned out. So it's iguana. Next up. Snoopy. I kind of want to put a collar on him, but I'm having trouble deciding what collar to put on him because I've seen him with a red collar and a black collar. Uh, I feel like the black collar is more original, but at the same time, I feel like the red is going to pop more. So before the market happens, I am going to either put a red collar or a blue black collar, and I think I'm going to go with black but this was a free pattern on Instagram. <coughs> Next, I made, finally, a Wednesday doll. And this one is from Chastity Ann Designs. I did make her a little bit different in that I made her with a smaller needle or smaller hook, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then instead of the pattern originally has her legs like stockings and then it's, uh, the stockings are striped. So it's supposed to be actually black, white, black, white like that. But I just made it skin color <laughs> instead because uh, I didn't want to do all those color changes and I still like the way she came out. So there's Wednesday, your cute little dress. And then I made one, two, three, four, five large leggy froggies. And 
this is the Lady Froggy pattern from Handmaiden Crochet. I love her stuff because her pattern is patterns are only a dollar. Um, when you're very first starting out doing this stuff, you can't always spend five to eight dollars on one pattern. So for her to be as big as she is and making her patterns and sharing them with everyone and for only a dollar and making them affordable like that, like she has no idea if she's watching this, you have no idea how much that is appreciated. And I absolutely love you for that. That is the nicest thing in the world for you to do that for us. Sorry, my dog's working. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So I got five leggy froggies and the big ones. And then I have a blue lobster. This was a random one <laughs> that I made because I actually signed up. I know I'm gonna take it to my market coming up, but in three weeks, I think, think it is after this market, I have another market that I'm gonna be going to that it's um, not a market per se, but it's an event and it's a crawfish boil event happening in a town nearby me. And so they are letting me be a vendor there. So I wanna do some seafood items. I haven't found an actual crawfish pattern. Um, so I started off with this blue lobster. I might do, I've seen some shrimp patterns but honestly, if I can't find any, I'm not gonna be too heartbroken because they have so many freaking legs and tentacle things that it's just like, if, if I don't find it, I'm okay with that because that just means like more sewing and ain't nobody got time for that right now. <laughs> so yeah, the little blue guy. He was a free pattern I found on Pinterest, I believe. Um, but yeah, he was actually super easy to make. I enjoyed making this one. I'm probably gonna make a couple more and use the same pattern for a red regular lobster also probably. Uh, the next one I made was this guy. This is a Triceratops and he is made out of blanket yarn. All my other ones so far have been out of Parfait Chunky and Parfait Chunky XL. This one is a Bernat blanket and I don't know if you can tell but the yellow has like sparkle pieces in it. It's pretty cool. Don't mind my dirty fingernails. I was doing yard work and pulling weeds this weekend and showers, hand washes, still not out. I need to get one of those brush things that you can brush under your fingernails to get all this stuff out. But I love how he turned out. And this one is a pattern by Mom Stichetti, I wanna say. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but super cute. I was at first a little worried because of how floppy and curl, not curly, but uh, wavy his, his little crown is. But when I looked at other patterns and other, or not other patterns, but um, ones that she did of her versions of the this one, and then other people's versions, they had the same thing. It wasn't maybe as floppy as mine, but um, they had a similar thing going on with theirs. So I'm not too worried about it. I think he's still super cute. I love the way he turned out. But I got, this one is not a free pattern. This was a paid pattern on Etsy from her. And I got a two-in-one pattern. I paid for the two-in-one pattern. So it came with this one, the Triceratops, and then it came with also a T-Rex pattern. I'm thinking of making the T-Rex pattern in reverse of the colors. So have the greenish yellow be the um, main color and then the blue be his highlight color. So that way they're kind of a reverse of each other. I think that'd be cute. I don't know if I'll get to it in time for this Saturday, but possibility. And then my last one I made, made this guy yesterday. Perry the platypus, isn't he cute? I heard he's apparently popular right now because of something on TikTok. I don't know what they're talking about. My kids didn't recognize him, so they don't know either, I guess. I mean, I don't let them watch TikTok or anything like that, but they watch stuff on 
YouTube sometimes that <laughs> that I don't like them watching YouTube, but uh, they watch it sometimes and so stuff from TikTok it's put on there and stuff and yeah, they didn't recognize him. So I guess maybe it's not as big as they I thought it was. But anyways, Perry the Platypus, a little tail. I thought he came out super cute. His little hat. He was a free pattern also on Instagram. Alrighty, let's get to... Hi, Axel. My dog, Axel. Let's get to my Timu order, the stuff that I ordered from Timu. So, <coughs> excuse me. I ordered some things and my thought process behind this was that because I already, I don't think it's in here. No, it's not, it's out in my car, I think. I already have this little bag that I got. It looks like a pencil pouch bag almost and it's probably about this wide around, this big and it's a zipper pouch and it has, it was like a little crochet kit thing that I got from Amazon for like 13 bucks or something like that. And it came with a bunch of um, crochet hooks in different sizes. It came with tapestry needles, 10 stitch markers, and I think that's it. Um, but anyways, the I wanted to have another set like that because I'm getting tired of trying to travel and tote my other one around everywhere I go. So, I mean, it's in my bedroom, it's in my office, um, it's in my car, it's in my kitchen. Like, I crochet everywhere, just wherever I can find time and a spot in my day, that's where I do it. So I'm constantly taking it on the go with me. And so normally I'm good at keeping track of it with my, um, my bag because I have a little like grocery bag, not grocery bag, but like a reusable grocery bag and that I put on my that pouch and then the yarn that I'm going to be using and maybe some safety eyes in. That's how I carry my stuff. And I'm tired of either sometimes leaving it in the car and I have to go get it or I just don't remember it in my room to bring it in my car because I do a lot of my crocheting too while I'm waiting to get my kids before they're out of school. Um, so the whole point anyways, sorry, little rant there. Uh, the whole point is that I wanted to make another kit like that for myself so that way I can carry that one specifically maybe for in my car only and I don't have to worry about bringing my other one everywhere with me. So this is thing, there are things that I got and plus I did also, um, uh, we'll get to that. Okay, so first <laughs> I got a pouch. This is the pouch and it's a fuzzy one. I don't know if you can tell. It's a fuzzy pouch. I got purple because purple is my branding color. Um, so that's why I got purple. And I plus I love purple, <laughs> which is why it's my branding color. <laughs> so yeah, I got the pouch. Um, beware. If you are going to do the same thing, make sure that your pouch is long enough to fit your crochet hooks. I did make sure to do that because I was originally going to get a different one, but it was not going to be long enough to fit my crochet hooks. Um, so I made sure to look at the sizing for that. Perfect. All right. Stitch markers. Holy cow. So when, like I said, when I first got that original, uh, that original set of crochet stuff. I got 10 stitch markers with it. I got that back in November, I want to say. And I have, it is what, what are we in? Um, we are in June. So November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So those stitch markers lasted me seven months. I have two left out of 10 and they lasted me seven months. So, I thought it was time to get more, so I got a, I think this is a, yeah, 50 pack. I got a 50 pack of those. So I will be splitting these up to 
have some go in my other pouch and then have some go in this pouch. Next up, I got that. I find the other one that goes with that. Hold on. No, I'll just show you separate. Okay, I got two different kinds of needles. So I've seen people using the bent needles. And so I want to try those. Um, I know sometimes I do have trouble when I'm trying to get through some tighter stitches with bringing it out and I have to like really curve up through the bottom. So I'm hoping this curve end will help me so I don't have to do that so hard. So yeah, I got the tapestry needles with the curve. Purple. And then, oh, here they are. I also got more of just the regular ones also. Can you see? Okay. And then I got another set. Honestly, I don't remember getting this, but I guess I did. <laughs> Oops. Which, whatever, it's not a big deal. I got another set of keychains. And I do plan to make some more of these for the market this weekend. So I think the way that I'm going to do it is if the way it's been panning out like it has, that the day before is when I'm going to work on my keychain stuff. Because obviously it's not that big of a thing that I do and I'd like to focus more on my other stuff. So I will make them, but probably the night before. Because um, it's not like I sold out of the ones that I took before. So it's not like I don't have any. But yeah, I got those. And then I got that one, that one, that one. I think that's it. I got these crochet hooks. They, we will see how they go. And it's funny, the handles always remind me of like toilet, or not toilet, oh my gosh, toilet brushes, I was going to say toilet brushes, toothbrushes, <laughs> toilet brushes, they always remind me of toilet, oh my gosh, is it Monday or what, can you tell I've been up since 3.30 this morning, I woke up at 3.30 because our dog woke me up, not been back to bed since, a little tired, um, but they look like toothbrushes, <laughs> these type of handle styles. Uh, but I got a, this is a six millimeter. This is a 5.5. This one is a five. And then we have a 4.5 and a four. I might order also an eight and a, I don't know if, I don't remember if they have a seven or not, but if they do, I'm going to order those like next. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see how they are. I do notice they probably will not, or I will not use them for if I'm doing, uh, the DK yarn or medium weight yarn, just because I'll show you with a smaller one because it's easy to tell with the big one, but I'll show you. My fingers don't want to work either. If you look at the head, if you look at the head, it is very round and kind of large. Um, so it'll be harder to fit through the smaller spaces. So I think it'll be fine with the, um, the velvet, the parfait, ch the chunky yarn, I think it'll be fine. Blanket yarn, I think it'll be fine. Uh, but with, I don't think it's gonna be good for medium weight yarn. So I'll stick to my other set for that, which is totally fine. I'm good with that. Um, and then, I also got, okay, I don't know if I'm actually even going to use these. 
I got them because they were cheap. So if I end up using them, awesome. If not, no big deal. But I got these little magnets. And so what I have seen is making keychains. But if you want to make like friend or lover keychains. So you would make two of the same thing. And they would come in a, the keychains would come in the pack of two. And then when you stuff it, you put the the magnet up at the face and then stuff it like you normally would and close it and everything and then the keychains can kiss they look like they're kissing because they're magnetic it's so cute i see that and i thought that was so adorable i don't know if i'm going to do it or not but i thought oh i'll get these just in case if i end up wanting to do it so that was the idea behind that and that is basically it for crochet stuff that I got. So I'm gonna put all that in my little pouch and that is gonna be kind of like my little travel kit for crocheting. I also got a few packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't remember getting this many. <laughs> But I got nine packs of stickers. Just, I thought to have something fun at the front um, that wasn't something crochet, I can just put them in a basket. They can sift through them if they want and two for a dollar or something cheap like that. Um, so I just thought they were fun. And I can also put them in my packages for my Etsy orders because um, a lot of the stuff in here are things that would match what I sell. So there's like dinosaurs and fruit and yeah, just fun stuff like that. So that's what I got from Timu. I want to say that I got the package within a week and I live in Washington state. So I mean, it really didn't take that long. I expected it to take longer, um, but it didn't. One thing, let me see. What do I want to do? Um, okay, I want to show you. So, okay, some things that I'm going to be changing for my market. I am going to be ordering the fitted tablecloths and I am going to get them in purple. I am probably going to order them tonight on Amazon. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Like I said, they're going to be purple. And then, one thing I am absolutely insane insanely happy about is that literally me and my husband this weekend were talking about how I want to get the wood crates to do um to find them and so I can use them for shelving because right now I don't have shelving for my market setup on my tables and so everything's just laying flat and it's boring and everything rolls everywhere and it's just annoying um and I just want it to look nicer and so I've been wanting to get the crates but I was telling him, you know, I went to Hobby Lobby and yeah, I found some that were on sale, but they weren't very cheap or maybe they were, but I'm just too cheap and they weren't cheap enough for me. <laughs> um, so I was telling him about this and literally that night I happened to look on Joanne's website. I have the app and their bins, their wood crates were on sale. So I got, I'll show you. I got this and this is an 18 inch one. So I mean, it's a, it's a large one. My Costco receipt. <laughs> so I got this because it was on sale. I got six of them. So they were on sale. I got six of them because they're the large ones, 18 inches, like I said, and they were originally on sale from $14.99 down to $10. Um, so yeah, they had the sale for that. And then if you did a pickup order, you got an additional 20% off, I wanna say it was. Um, so I ended up getting them for under $10 a piece. I was ecstatic about that. So I got six of them for, I think, $45 and I was oh so happy so I have these now at first I thought I was gonna paint them purple to match my theme and stuff but I think since I'm gonna have purple tablecloths I'm just gonna keep them this color and then do some stacking 
Um, I'll show you guys on Saturday or I'll film Saturday and my setup and everything that I have. That way you can see how I'm using them. Um, but yeah, I got six of them and then I also got some yarn, but yeah, use, take advantage of that Joann's thing. Uh, if they have pickup in your area, because you can get an additional percentage off on top of having, a uh, a sale coupon or a sale that's going on you can use that on top of it just for picking up your order instead of just going in the store yourself if it's something that you don't have to look for like this I knew I wanted it I knew what I wanted I knew the size so it was fine with that I can't say that I would do that all the time with certain yarn stuff that I haven't seen if it's this stuff which they don't sell this but I mean if it were something like that then yes I would because I know exactly what I'm getting I already have it it's just different colors um, but for certain other ones, I won't, uh, I did get some additional yarn. Sorry. I did get some additional yarn with that order as well. Um, I ended up getting some Bernat blanket. And it's funny. I always said I was not going to work with Bernat blanket because I didn't like it that much. And honestly, I really, it's, it's okay for me. Um, I prefer the softness of this stuff. So, but I'm liking working with it all of a sudden. And so I ended up getting some colors to make a stitch. And so I did that. And then I also got colors, um, this, those same exact colors in Parfait Chunky XL to make a larger stitch as well. So I got those. And then I wanted to show you, I'm kind of nervous about that. I've never been nervous about a yarn. Like, have you ever been nervous about a yarn? But it is very new for me. I don't know what I'm, I know what I want to do with it, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. <laughs> I got the fuzzy yarn. Okay. It was at Michael's and I had a coupon that I could use. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. Oh, it's two strands together. Oh, I didn't know that which is nice though. Okay. So the thing holding me back from getting stuff like this, um, cause I've seen it at Hobby Lobby before I've seen it at other stores, but the thing holding me back was that the strand seems so dang thin and I did not like that. Like I felt like if I wanted to make specifically, I've been trying to want to make a Highland cow. Okay. But if I wanted to make the Highland cow, I can't make it in parfait chunky and then switch to this for the top because I can't use the same needle size because it just, it won't work. Um, it would have been too thin, but this one, now that I'm looking at it and feeling it, it's double stranded. Oh, actually it's triple stranded. Oh, that's even better. <gasps> cool beans. Look at it. So there's one, two, three. Oh, awesome. <gasps> oh, now you know. Okay. So triple three, triple thread. So this one, I can use the same size hook. So it suggests an eight millimeter. Perfect, okay. Oh, I'm excited now. All right, I wanna make something out of this now. <laughs> like right this instant. I don't know if I would make a Highland cow though. I think I need a darker color because I wanted to make a darker or like a brown or reddish brown color for a Highland cow. I might just make a regular cow from this, shoot. Okay, but anyways, now you know too if you ever want to do that so this is loops and thread threads loops and threads and this was at michael's and it's super bulky number six 100 percent polyester this color is called gold frost so it's a lighter color and then the suggested crochet hook size is an eight millimeter 56 yards ten and a half ounces i'm really excited so be on the lookout because if I make something from this, I will be making a short and you will be able to see it. Oh, I'm excited now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to use that. And then, um, I think that's it for now. I did get some yarn from Michael's, but it's taking a little bit to get here. So I think I'm going to wait to show you guys that I really actually want to dig into it right now and make my stitch, but I'm gonna have to make my smaller one. Um, but I'll hold off on that so that way I can make you guys a yarn haul video 
and I might add that one that I just showed you in there too, even though I have it in this one. But yeah, everybody have a great Monday, a great week. Be kind to each other and I will be vlogging, I'm hoping, for my market on Saturday and that sucker will be up on Monday. Hope it goes well and yeah, everybody be kind to each other. Have a great week. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.